Our first responders are on the line every day. They work with a moment's notice. They have to make judgments real time. Oftentimes involve life or death of, uh, of someone in our community. Oftentimes uh, their own life or death. And they don't have a margin of error in which to operate. Very few people can even appreciate that kind of pressure. Being a police officer is a very difficult job to do and, and, and the average person can't really understand that. There's a whole other side of the community out there that most people don't see. It takes a toll on you. I'm just not worrying about me. I gotta make sure my crew goes home, make sure they're safe so that they can go home to their families. That's the most important part. We always know we have to have a head on our swivel. They say that complacency will be what kills us. But now more than ever, it seems like complacency, there's no room for it. People call the police department because they have problems. I wanna to go to that call and help them with their problems. You know, you look at somebody's face that you helped and you realize that you, you might have made a difference in, in their life. It's a sense of caring for people. We don't want bad things to happen to people, but when they do, we want to be able to, to get in there and fight the fire to help. It's not about the paycheck. If it was about the paycheck, I'd have been gone a long time ago. It's the job. Everybody has a, a vivid memory of 9-11 and being a fireman and seeing what the guys went through and gave their lives to save the people that they did save. It would be a tremendous thing just to be in that area to see what happened. What a wonderful way to pay tribute to the police officers, the firefighters who through 9-11 experienced uh, what the firefighters up there did and what a way to go back and just be able to pay tribute to them by visiting the memorial. I think what will be unique about this trip is that we'll be doing it together. And I think that, that experience will bring us all closer together and, and make this a very meaningful and, and memorable experience to, to share it together. The idea behind the Patriot flight was to take first responders from our community to New York City in order to show them that we care about what they do on a daily basis, tie that into something that's very powerful to our country, which was what happened on September 11th, and use that as a point of rallying our community together and having that community say, we care about those who are protecting us each day. We want to be a part of honoring them each and every day moving forward. A lot of public safety officials don't really have the, the money to take a lot of trips. Most firefighters have two or three jobs. Police officers are the same way. So the opportunity to be given a chance to get to New York and to see the World Trade Center and to, and to visit that is, uh, uh, is a great thing. The Rotary Club has always been good to public safety here in Roswell. And this is just another example of the way they would love to show their appreciation. It'll begin in the morning, we all gather at Roswell Area Park. We're gonna load onto a couple of buses and depart Roswell, and with that, we'll have a hero's departure. When we get to the gate, they will be helping us out to have some recognition there on behalf of Delta Airlines. And when we land at LaGuardia Airport, we will then be police escort to the 9-11 Memorial and Museum and get to go to the top of the Freedom Tower. While we're in the museum, we're gonna let each person spend some time to themselves because it's a very personal and very deep experience and then we will police escort back to LaGuardia Airport and come home all the way through and escort back to the Roswell Park with our police officers as well as a fire engine and have a large crowd welcome our first responders and our heroes home. It's a privilege to be respected and thought of to go to something like this. Hopefully this will be something that we're done not just by Roswell but other departments, not throughout Georgia but also throughout the nation as well. It's really special flying somewhere escorted to the memorial, going as a group. It's filled with just emotion. It's gonna be incredible.